20 years plus, you know, Wooden Spoon has, has grown massively, exponentially, I guess, yeah, you can see the graph doing that. And over the next few years, I'd like to see that upward growth continue. I think one, one of the other things as well is more young people being involved in actually running and operating the organisation, because actually it's often young people who are the beneficiaries, and sometimes, you know, older people helping kids, you kind of expect that. Every single place that you go, whether it's a, a school, whether it's a, kind of a day centre, you can just see that the money, how the money's been spent, has made a massive difference to young people, to old people's lives. done with the money that Wooden Spoon raises to realise how worthwhile it is. What I would say is, you know, Wooden Spoon, one of the great things that Wooden Spoon has going for it is the regional offices, means that there's a, there's a centre wherever you live in the country, if you live in Northumberland, if you live in Cornwall, you know, there is a Wooden Spoon branch there. And the money that's raised goes to projects just down the road from where you live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For an awful lot of people, life can be a struggle, but as far as Wooden Spoon is concerned, we do our utmost to make sure that every day is enjoyable and lived to the utmost. And so thank you very much for your support in whatever shape, in whatever form, no matter how big, no matter how small, believe in me, it's appreciated by us and also the people who we give your money to.